This young artist booked a therapist and ended up having a romantic affair with his therapist whose job was to counsel him on how to suppress his depression. We have an inspiring story to share about a Nigerian artist who overcame the shackles of poverty and depression to become a global sensation. His unique journey influenced his music and led him to coin his genre, Afro Depression. Stanley Omer Didier, known professionally as Omer Lay, is an Afro R&B artist and record producer born on May 19, 1997, in an oil-rich Nigerian city, Port Harcourt. At just 12 years old, he received one of the biggest shocks in his life, the loss of his father. This early tragedy left an indelible mark on his childhood and also marked the beginning of his challenging journey. However, rather than surrendering to pain, this adversity only fueled his determination to create a better future for himself and his family. By age 13, he had to step into the role of a breadwinner for his mom and younger siblings. He left home and started taking menial jobs to support his mother and siblings. His determination led him to work at an oil refinery in the Niger Delta, a dangerous job he eventually left after losing friends. Who will help him out now that he has no source of income? This thought made him take a laundry job, but he persevered, all the while nurturing his passion for music. He continued to write songs while working as a laundry man. He even engaged in rap battles with friends under the name Lil King. However, the struggle of surviving on these low-paying jobs weighed heavily on him, pushing him to yearn for more. His love for music never changed, and it was during his time at the laundromat that he managed to save some money to pursue a significant goal and a dream learning music production. In his pursuit of knowledge, he became an errand boy for Dr. Roy, a music teacher he met through a friend. Dr. Roy had an exceptional requirement for his mentorship. Omar Lay had to abandon rap and become a gospel artist, a difficult decision he accepted. Although Dr. Roy didn't teach him music production directly, Omar Lay found a way to learn by sneaking into the studio late at night and secretly studying production techniques on YouTube. His dedication and punctuality earned him Dr. Roy's trust and access to studio equipment. Omar Lay was only punctual because he slept inside the studio whenever it was time to go home he'd pretend like he left, but would eventually return as soon as Dr. Roy had left the studio. This arrangement continued until one very fateful day Omar Lay got kicked out. For some weeks he was sleeping outside on the streets with his friends. His journey took an unexpected turn as he ventured to a remote village in Inugu, Nigeria, where he discovered his true musical identity. There, he learned to sing and play the guitar, a transformative experience that would shape his future. Upon returning to Port Harcourt, he dived into music production as a profession. His beat soon gained recognition, and he enjoyed a brief period of financial success. Yet, he yearned to do more than produce others' music, and he started singing. In 2019, he made the bold move to Lagos and signed to a record label KeyQA and released his EP Get Late, which became a chart topper. Omar Lay's rise to fame continued as he signed with Sire Records, a subsidiary of Warner Music Group. His self-produced single, Bad Influence, went viral on social media, further solidifying his status in the music industry. His journey wasn't without setbacks. In December 2020, he and Thames were arrested in Uganda due to COVID-19 protocol violations. They were later released. Amidst his burgeoning success, Omar Lay faced personal struggles and heartbreaks, leading him to seek counseling. However, even therapy with his therapist failed to provide the relief he desired leading to a romantic affair. After this incident, he decided to stop seeking others' opinions and instead focus on believing in himself and whatever he says. This transformation significantly altered his perspective on music, leading to deeper and darker lyrics. He coined the genre Afro-Depression, a genre that allowed him to express his innermost emotions and experiences through his music, a unique blend of emotional depth and realness into the music scene. By June 25th, he featured on the official remix of Justin Bieber's hit song Peaches, and released a single with the Canadian rapper in July, titled Attention, and also collaborated with Metro Boomin, Ozuna, and Wizkid. Afro-Depression, a sound Oma lay created at his sad and helpless moments resonates well with audiences worldwide, captivating listeners with his unique blend of Afrofusion, emotional lyrics, and infectious melodies. He is considered one of the boldest Afrobeats artists, unafraid to explore themes of love, relationships, and personal experiences in his songs. In 2020, he won a prestigious Afrobeats Award the Heddy's Next Rated Award, an accolade previously won by renowned artists like Wizkid, David O, and Rema. Omar Lay's story is a testament to the power of chasing your dreams against all odds. It also serves as an inspiration to countless aspiring artists. His music, 
known for making people dance to his pain, continues to touch the hearts of fans worldwide, proving that one can rise from nothing to something and change their narrative. If you watch to the end please give us a thumbs up and smash that subscribe button. Thank you for joining us today.